Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today is ketchup day. Not the condiment, but catch up, because I have some things here that you have not seen yet. Uh, they were kind of uh, tucked away in a way that I didn't remember them and all of this. Uh, these canisters I completely forgot to talk about in uh, just a recent video. I have a, something that's really fun that I ordered online that I want to show you. And then just some other things that I picked up and they're awesome. So I definitely wanted to make sure I talked about them. So let's start. I've got a pile of stuff right here, uh, trays and things. This one is so cool and I bought it from the 10 pin antique mall where I have some antique booths at. So I'll show you, they kind of all set into each other like this. It's like a snack set, but this is a composite paper mache kind of material and they're pretty darn cool. So I will show you up close if I can get this to focus good here. There we go. So it's pretty darn cool. There is some minor wear like around the edges and stuff. That's completely normal. I'll show you the back of it. So it says alcohol proof made in Japan. So that's really awesome. It's a snack set of five pieces in total. I paid about, well, it was like under $4 for all of this. Outstanding price, really, at an antique mall. So that's just really, really cool. And this will go on Etsy. I don't know the price for this, but uh, somewhere around 20 plus shipping uh, could probably be like 25 plus shipping. I'd have to double check, but I don't think it's gonna be much more than that. I think it's gonna be below $30 for the whole set here, plus shipping. But really awesome. Keeping with the snack, or keeping with the trays, I have this really cool mosaic tile mid-century uh, trivet, hot pad type thing. So neat, look at that. I'll show you the tile work on here. Has all these fun little mini tiles, square tiles, ceramic. And I believe this was like 50 cents or 25 cents at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. So it was on sale. It had been sitting there, I guess, for a while. This thing was completely dirty whenever I bought it, but I cleaned it up and boy, is it nice. Now, the brass is shows its wear. You know, there's like little, what do you call that? Like tarnishes and things like that. But either way, I think this is a really cool item. If it doesn't go online, it'll probably go in the booth. Things like this historically don't really sell for a whole lot, but, uh, it should sell for about $15 plus shipping on a decent good day. So I would hope that that's what this thing can bring. It looks beautiful though. I just imagine that on a dining room table or a coffee table, really anywhere, but I like it. This here I picked up at somewhere. Oh, the, okay. So a couple haul videos ago, I did a video where I went to an estate sale at a really nice house, like a colonial style house. And I had a whole haul video on that as well. Uh, this here, I, so what happened is I went back the next day, basically. Um, was it half off day? No, it still wasn't half off day. This was a three day event. I just went back on day two whenever it was still regular price and um, it doesn't matter. These are great prices. So I paid $3 for this guy here. It's T for T. T, f T for one, <laughs> T for one, unless you want to drink right out of there too. But uh, it's very cool. This is made by Andrea by Sadiq, made in Thailand. So I thought that was a great little thing here in this blue. No chips or anything. I can't get the lid on. How do I get the lid on? like a puzzle so it goes on a very specific way so it's beautiful and it has these little blue birds on it I here I'm gonna come right up to you because I want you to see this it's beautiful look at that now that is awesome so it has this blue bird the little flowers and oh nice and then the cup is the same kind of scenario really pretty and then of course, these things, they nest together like this. So you can have it displayed or, you know, whatever. 
space saving. So that is really nice and I don't know if that's gonna go online or in the booth, I have not looked this guy up. So, I mean, I think realistically and I don't, I'm not sure on the age of it, but I think this is worth 15 to $20 just right out of the gate because of what it is. But uh, after I look it up, maybe it's worth a little bit more. I don't know. So I gotta look that one up. This here was also at that place. It's just a really fun mid-century era. Awesome, it's plastic and it has these red poinsettia flowers on it. It's nothing too exciting. It was a dollar, but I thought for any vintage Christmas display, this thing would be so cool. So it has these little speckles in it. I don't know if that'll pick up, but in the regular plastic, there are little speckles. Let me get closer. Here you go. It's kind of like this fiberglass look, but I mean, this thing is plastic, but it's really cool. So for a dollar, I thought no brainer, I'll just get it. And it'll go in the booth. I'm not gonna sell that, I'm not gonna list it, but uh, yeah, good booth item. This is a beautiful yarn art kind of a thing. I guess it would be considered, I don't know, needlepoint as well, but it's just really, cool again here let me show you these really pretty blue flowers on this uh creamy beige background very nice so i, I went ahead and bought that for two dollars now uh all of those things oh and then i have one more thing but i paid five dollars so essentially i got something for free basically uh that was her price i didn't even haggle but that's how they do it there so i'm not gonna argue but this is just a really cool thing here. I'm sure I could sell it for between $15 and $20 plus shipping uh, because it's a great art piece for the wall. It's really like grandma shabby. I don't know if that's a thing, but it could be, right? So granny shabby. <laughs> I also got this Tupperware uh, guy here. It was a dollar, great price. It has this spout. Uh, goes on like that. I'm having troubles here. Well, it goes on. There's no brakes or anything. Uh, it has this handle. Isn't that fun? So what's it for? I don't know. Could uh, juice, cereal, no, cereal? Could be. You could put cereal in there if you wanted to be all crazy. So um, it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. And I didn't even see it the first time. I go through these houses and I, whenever I'm out, I literally walk around four or five times, uh, like putting fresh eyes on every time, trying to, but sometimes you just miss stuff. So that's the stuff that I did miss that, well, yeah. Oh, you can barely see it. So it's this ceramic wreath over here. And I've been wanting one of these for a while because Barb got one and you know how that goes whenever you have a, thrifting friend who gets something and you get a little jealous by it. Well, she has her own wreath and I wanted one too. Now these are in line with the ceramic Christmas trees that are ever popular, but you don't hardly ever see these. They are the light up wreaths. So I'm sure all of you are gonna want one of these now, unless you were probably around back then and you already have one, probably you do, but it's just really cool. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is one of those 1970s home painted kind of things, just like the trees are. Uh, they still make and produce those trees now, but yeah, awesome, I love it. And it's in pretty darn good shape. So the top comes off, it's missing a bulb, no big deal, I can get another one. I'm looking for a mold mark, who made this? I don't know. Popular companies were either Holland Mold or Atlantic Mold. I think there was, I think there's at least Duncan, is that one? Duncan, 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 I don't know. But I think, uh, let's see. But either way, it's a great find. And how much was this? Oh, and where was this? This was purchased at Savers for like $5.99. Holy mackerel, holy macaroni. So, outstanding. Oh, I better get to these before I forget them again. Uh, I remember the haul video, they were literally like right in front of me the whole time and I just kept going around them. But these are awesome canisters. They have Neil the Frog, that is Neil, 
Can you focus on that camera? There we go. So it's, this is a really nice canister set. It, it would have had four. We only have three now. This was put out by Sears. It says that right on the bottom. Sears, Roebuck & Co, 1979, made in Japan. So it's really awesome. And they're black on the inside. I thought that was kind of fun. But uh, yeah, these are pretty popular. These are gonna go online as well. And like I said, I have the, the set of three. And they're all in decent shape. Uh, considering their age and everything like that. So I really like those. I wanna go ahead and get to this item right here that I really went out of my way to buy online. Now this is also from a previous video where I was at an antique store and I was really just clamoring over this thing because I wanted it. So here it is, right there. Beautiful, this is a butter dish. It's like a butter ball, butter, butter bell, butter ball dish and it's oh it's amazing so it's this milk glass with these painted on flowers i'll show you up close maybe we can get there we go good and clean and fresh right there you can see it so it has these beautiful pastel pink yellow blue flowers and then we have the lid here Let's see if we can get that close up so i just love everything about this at the antique mall, they wanted $135 for this. <sighs> Took my breath away too. On eBay, <laughs> on eBay they wanted between $60 to $90, somewhere in there. And I managed to find this one here for, uh, was like just about 60 bucks, including the creamer. So I didn't really want or care for the creamer. This one's not particularly in fantastic shape and I don't have the sugar to go along with it but it came with it. So at the worst case, worst case scenario, I might be able to sell this for like, I don't know, 10, $15, just put it back online and get some of my money back or continue collecting this pattern. But honestly, if I want anything else from this pattern, it's the salt and pepper shakers that are very hard to find and they run about $90 every time they pop online. So all in all, beautiful early milk glass from uh, not about 1900, no later than 1910, 1912. It, it's got to be before that, and it's going to be no earlier than about 1895. So I love them. They're great. I'm apparently now collecting this pattern. While I was at Habitat for Humanity, I grabbed a few other things there. I forgot to mention them, but it's Pyrex. We have two Pyrex bowls here and then two restaurant wear platters. So restaurant wear is always fun. It's heavy, super heavy, but it's cool. <laughs> so this is Homer Laughlin here. Uh, I don't know the pattern name offhand, but it has these blue leaves with silver, like little swirls on there. And there's the back stamp says Homer Laughlin, Best China USA, right there. This was 25 cents, no sale, just 25 cents. And then this other piece is made by Buffalo China. Also, I don't know the name of this, but it has this gold and black scallop edge. Um, I'll show you that. So that is awesome, really nice restaurant wear platter 25 cents so i don't know why i bought those there's really not much of a reason to sell them online they're obnoxious the size the weight but uh i don't know i could probably put them in the booth i hope right i can always put them in the booth i don't know if they'll sell so i have these two pyrex bowls right here this is in the amish butter print in blue also came in pink and i think that's about it blue and pink think I don't know I'm not a Pyrex expert and I don't really want to be <laughs> I'm kind of over this honestly uh, let me keep it real with you I'm not a really a huge Pyrex fan like some people so, like I know there's other thrifters that obviously love it and I I have my fair share of things that I'm interested in but this just isn't one of them and I'm kind of I guess I'm really sick of how much the market has like went up and then now I'm starting to go see it go back down 
and with that comes resentment, right? So luckily I don't really have a lot of Pyrex on hand. I, I have hardly any, but uh, I picked these things up because this was $2 and I like it. I think this is a really uh, transitional, what am I trying to say? This bowl can be used for some good things, a lot of good re, uh, uses. So I immediately thought this would be great for Christmas. I love the gold. I think that's really good about it. But what this is, is part of a chip and dip bowl set, a promotional item that came out for uh, in 1959, very similar to what they did with the Pyrex balloons pattern in 1958. But this one here is missing the dip uh, bowl. It's a smaller dip bowl also with these kind of um, I think it has these two handles, the little spouts. Anyways, this is a Cinderella bowl also. The people call these Cinderella bowls. I don't know why, but you can pour out of it. Why is this a chip bowl set? I didn't know yet chip bowls have these handles too. <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> but anyways, it's part of a chip and dip bowl set. It was a promotional piece. Obviously, this is all we have. This is about worth 10 to $15. I'm gonna put it in the booth for around that price and I think it'll have no problem selling. This one here, it has this chip right here. I'm probably gonna edit some of this out because I'm talking too much about this junk. No, it's not junk, it's priceless. <laughs> no, we've got this chip right here and you know, what, what are you gonna do? I, I don't know, it was a dollar. The graphics are great. Holding it up to the light, there's really no big issues either with the with the sprayed on here so i don't know but here's what i do know i will have no problem selling it for like ten dollars and considering i paid a dollar i'm not mad at that at all no nope. oh, don't be so I'm just making sure, I'm looking around my table, making sure I don't forget about something again because that'd be really sad. Very sad if I forget about it the second time around. But no, I, I mean, I think I got everything. So anyways, hopefully you liked the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.